Hello everyone and welcome back here to the Rim World. And we are still constructing here. This will be the new sleeping quarters. But everything else seems to be chugging along quite nicely. The only thing I'm worried about here, to be totally honest with you, is we seem to be getting too much food, which seems an odd thing to say. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to address this a little bit. And let's pause this because this is the perfect time to do it. So we've got these nice big blocks of, of growing zones. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove half of each zone as they're harvested. So that one there and that one there. And in fact, to be totally honest with you, let's just go ahead and do the lot. So we'll take off half of that and we'll take off half of that. And actually, Growing zone, change my mind. Let's expand that one. Let's get the let's get some more hops, but we're gonna take off half of each one of these, so uh, so we'll delete half of this zone as well. There we go. Okay, so we've got half a zone there, half a zone there, and so on. And the other half, we're just gonna make some new growing zones. So growing zone. That and like that. Uh, so do, do it in this way, stops them from merging together. And uh, yeah, we'll just create some new ones here. And you know, what we're effectively doing is halving our growing power for a little bit. But I think, to be totally honest, we have more than enough food for a while. So, what we're going to do instead is we are going to grow some cloth. Where's my cloth? Uh, cotton plants. There we go. Do the same here. Change that to cotton plants. So we'll do the same for both of these. And that's going to increase our cloth output in a few days' time because what I want to do is I want to get a lot of this carpeted. Now we've, we've pretty much run out of cloth and we still have a lot of this floor to do. Which is a little bit of a problem, but we will deal with that. It's kind of just going to look a little bit weird for a while. But still, it's looking it's looking better than it was. It's the last little cloth being dealt with there. Um, okay, and also, as we've got plenty of power, let's turn these back on because it is freezing cold in this place. All right, and yeah, there you go. Good work. You flick that switch like a pro. Uh, all right, all three of them. It took three of them to flick those switches. <laughs> we have Combo as a prisoner, who we're going to try and chat and recruit. Uh, at uh, the moment, what state is he in? He's, well, he's, he's get, his mood is getting better, to be totally honest with you. Um, we could perhaps make this place a little bit more beautiful, but well, it's not bad. And it's warm, that's the important thing. This room is quite cold, but um, that's because of the cold snap outside. We might actually want to chuck a heater in here later on, but I'm going to kind of avoid that as long as possible. But how's our harvesting getting on? Was that yeah, was that actually worth it? I've got to be honest. With you. Was that was that just go in there, harvest one potato plant or rice plant or whatever, and we'll just walk back out again? Uh, okay. A pirate merchant. Lucky, where are you? Lucky, Lucka Clark. Right. Stop calling. Start chatting. Let's see what we can sell them. Hopefully, we get rid of some of these uh, these weapons. So that works for me, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, we'll just go with that. There we go. Okay. Right, I would like to get this area built uh, this episode if we can uh, because after that I would like to start working on a few other bits and pieces and in fact to be totally honest with you I'm, I'm tempted to start working on one of these immediately the cold snap is over, excellent so there's a butcher table and there's a brewery there's a cooking table, okay right, so we have all those 
Um, I'd like to cheer this place up a little bit, but I want to get the carpet done first. But there is one thing I would like to do, and I'd like to do it immediately if I can. Let's slow this down for a sec. Um, let's just deconstruct a bit of this wall here. I know I'm doing it in an awkward way, but what the hell. Right. Okay, Ben's already on it. Good man, Ben. So let's get this wall down. Okay, yeah. Let's just take a little bit of time. Um, uh, Ruggie's got that one. Okay. And this means that this room is going to start getting really cold really quick. Um, and this room is going to start warming up, which means this food is in danger. So let's try to deal with that problem immediately. So production. I want a nutrient place dispenser, and I want to put it in here. Ah! Uh, I've been playing The Sims using all keys. There we go. So we're just going to pop it in like that. Let's move it back one. There we go. Alright, and... Prioritize when working on the place dispenser. And... Has every single action... There we go, and prioritize the working on the taste of sensor. There we go, now he's going to finally get some metal for it. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to make this, then if we're ever in a situation where we run out of food for whatever reason, these guys will eat paste instead of eating raw food, which to me is a better deal. Lucky, eat your food, and then get back to work. I need you to do this, I'm afraid. There we go. Get some more metal. How are we doing? Oh, we've got plenty of metal. Beating uh, is... Okay, reserved by somebody. I couldn't quite read that. Um, but, never mind. As long as the job is being done, that's the important thing. And now that's done, what I want to do is I want to make a couple of hoppers. Failed to re Oh, 15% chance. That's not bad. Which way around do these go? Like that. Okay, we'll leave those to be done because they're not critical. But we do need to power that, so let's have a quick look at our power conduit situation. Okay. In fact, to be totally honest with you, we could use some power down here, so let's just run a power cable along here like that. We'll use that later on for a few other things I've got in mind. Oh, let's speed this up. Okay, this is all being built nicely. In fact, we might as well move on to the next stage here. So, what are we doing for metal or wood stone? Rather, we've got lots of limestone. So let's build a limestone structure. Limestone blocks. So, walls like this. And like that. And we'll have walls around here like this. And. Right, so we'll put the doors near the. The entrance is near the door, really, as far as we can, so like that. And oh, we've got plenty of metal coming in now. And finally, doors. Let's make wood doors. We'll have one there, 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 and there. And we'll finish that off with a bit of lighting. One in that corner. One in that corner, one in that corner, and I feel I need to move that wall, to be honest with you. So let's do that. Let's deconstruct that wall. And... Okay, we'll have a granite wall down on the outside. Just build that down there like that. And that's going to look a bit more symmetrical. I particularly want symmetrical, symmetrical at the moment, but it does make this just does make this just so easier, much easier to build blocks of. Plus, I didn't have the space to put the lamp in there, so that will be done soon. And how are our, our crops growing? So we started replanting. That's good. Perhaps use a bit more gardening resource. I think. Growing strawberry plant, growing cotton plant. 
Yeah, still need some work on that, but we've got loads and loads of food, so I'm not actually worried about losing food in the short term. What that does worry me is, yes, this has... That actually forms a wall, so we are not losing heat around the edges of the nutrient paste dispenser, and that will keep us going in an emergency. Combo, how are you doing? Your mood is well up. You sh we should be getting you fairly soon. Okay, that's good. And there they are, sitting around having a little chat. Right, and in fact, I think... I'm actually really tempted to put in a request to get that floor done, but uh, not at the moment. And we've got loads of space here to build some other stuff. I think I've got to build a better table. And put it, perhaps put in a few bits and pieces to make it a nice little bit. Ooh, cargo pods. Nearby. Excellent. Right, we'll have that. Um, it's warming up, so let's actually make that somebody's priority. Davis. Prioritise holding squirrel meat. Let's get that stored. There we go. All right. And I'm sure someone will grab the rest of it later on, but we've got some of it. That's the important thing. So, our growing area is being rejigged a little bit. We're getting lots of crops out there still. We're going to get lots of cloth, which is great. And that will help us make the carpets. We've got loads of food being stored still. Nobody's built those yet. Because we're still a little bit short on steel. Where are we mining? Up here, yeah, we've just mined out up here and a bit up there. There's still some area to be mined up here, so let's grab hold of that. There we go. Still a chunk of metal there. There's still loads and loads and loads of metal on this map, so I've got no real problems with that. Um, wouldn't hurt to have some of this stuff hauled. What are you doing? You're mining. I think what I want you to do is. Just grab a load. There we go. Uh, failed again, but 15% chance. I'm fairly confident we'll get that done. Okay, and... Do you know what? Let's speed this up a little bit. Cut plants. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. And get rid of that. There we go. And that'll help them. Plant. Still not enough gardening resource ready for what we've got, but we're not doing too badly. And we are producing, yeah, we are producing fine meals, which is going to make these guys happy. We've struck compacted steel while mining compacted steel, no doubt. Yep, we have. I'm so happy about that. Walls are coming up. That's good. We will have. I think we'll have these done by the end of the uh, the the episode. Well, actually, no. I think we are not going to have this done by the end of the episode. To be honest. Right, pirate merchant and trades. Right, lucky. We'll grab you in the morning. So this is a good chance to have a look through you. Okay, your joy is fairly good. You're healthy. You're healthy. Yes. Um, just you're just unhappy because you're sharing a bedroom at the moment. By the looks of it. Um, where are you? Playing horseshoes, eh? Nice. Okay, let's have a quick look at these guys. So let's have a look at this combat merchant. Oh, sorry. This is the the what's it the. Okay, can't afford any of those guys, and I've decided to keep Combo. Anything we want to buy from them? An Iranian military helmet. The answer, no, just no. Okay, cancel that, and have a look at the combat supplier. Okay, right. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Just sell off this junk. Slate Club, which is normal. We'll get a bit more money for that. Oh, that survi uh, survival rifle would be nice. 
Uh, ooh, sell that. Sell that. Pass still ship. Sounds good, but we don't really want it. That's, ooh, look at that. We've almost doubled our money. So, I think we can actually invest in something else. So, what should we have? love a, a superior minigun. A uh, HEP4 SMG doesn't seem like a good deal to me. But we'll invest in a survival rifle. So we're still making 106 out of that. So we've made a profit. Lucky, what are you wielding? You're wielding an LMG. Okay, so who's got what? Holiday is a pacifist. Davis, you've got a pistol. What's your... Shooting. Your shooting's five. Let's see if we can find someone a bit better. Uh, who's our hunter? All right. Lucky. Okay, so Ben is our hunter. And Ben already has one of those. Brent is unarmed. So. Equip the survival rifle. And Davis, equip the pump shotgun. There we go. Alright, we're getting a little bit low on supplies here, really, aren't we? But that's not the end of the world. Still got plenty up here. Including loads of cloth. In fact, let's, let's put a trade beacon on that as well. That way, we can sell this stuff if we want to while it's here. And it looks like our first room is going to be completed. Is excellent. What's the temperature like in here? 19. And how does that change now that it's sealed in? Stays at 19. Excellent. Right. So, we'll put a standing lamp in and we'll put a. Uh, we've got lots of wood. Let's put a wood bed in. It won't be the best quality but it will do okay uh, that would be the first room I think we'll put Ben in there this is slowly getting built how are our crops looking I think we need more gardener resorts let's have a quick look okay gardening growing so we have holiday grows when he's not um, cooking, and he's cooking quite a lot of the time. Brandt is uh, a miner, but Davis is doing a lot as well. So let's make Brandt uh, a farmer as well. That way he'll do that after he's done repairing and cleaning like everyone else, but before he does any mining. And that hopefully will speed the gardening up, because you know we've got empty fields here and things like that. That's not going to help us. But we'll see how that affects us in the morning here. Once this is done, I'm going to start taking this room apart. I think we're going to make half of it into a hospital and might make half of it into a luxury area, I think. Actually, with that in mind, let's put a door in there. I don't need more stone hauled by the looks of it. Pirate merchant. We seem to be getting a lot of those at the moment. Um, sorry. Have a look at, have a talk to the pirate merchant. And we're getting raided. They are attacking immediately. Where are they? Down here. So they're going to come all the way around here and up here. I need to put some defences in here. Okay. Right, well, let's grab everyone. Anyone up here? Nope. Not holiday. I will draft everyone and get them all down here. Okay, and holiday. I want to restrict your access for a little bit. So you stay inside the building. That way you are safe. Okay, let's have a look at our people. Ben, down here. Lucky, here. Davis, you go there. Where's everyone else? Brent, draft you. It looks like we missed you, so you can come 
here. And they're going to be coming up here. It's not a perfect defense anymore, but it's a good enough one. Where are they? There they are. Alright, we've got two turrets going. Yeah, I think we'll be alright here. Let's. Ooh, we've almost got another room complete. Marvelous. Why are you not working? Oh, we've got a, a survivor here. Colonist needs treatment. Ben, pull back a little bit. Oh, they are working. Okay. Lucky's getting hurt. Let's pull you back as well. And they're fleeing. Brilliant. Okay, right. Um, you two. We draft you. Oh, we didn't even lose. We didn't even lose a turret. That makes a pleasant change. So Davis. Oh, Redfield. Wonderful. We're selling him. And Brant. Strip Val. And strip gerber. That's good. Let's permit all this stuff because we want it moved. Okay, that's that's all acceptable. Did anyone else die down here? Yep, somebody died down here. No, you're still alive, Brent. I know you want to eat, but I want you to capture. Ooh. Um, have to be a sleeping spot, I'm afraid. So, Brandt, capture blue. Okay, and holiday. Let's get you back to unrestricted access. Go to a doctor, but I don't want you actually doctoring unless I tell you to. Where are you? Oh, and you're finally doing some plant cutting as well. Damn. Alright, I'm going to shoot a trait lucky as soon as he gets in. So let's get you doing that, undraft you there, and prioritize treating Lucky. There we go, poor Lucky, he gets the worst treatment of anybody in this place. Let's have a look at these guys, so Redfields, male archer of the blue pain people. Incapable of intellectual, artistic and plant work. His work as a constructor, um, terrible skills though, terrible, terrible skills. But he is psychically dull, which does balance him out. Um, health. Yeah, you're not in a good state there, really, are you? But you will heal. Uh, prisoner. Doctor's care does not get medicine, and we shall release him. So combo we've already done, and one more guy coming this way. Blue, let's have a quick look at you. So... Dromedary level dromedary leather tribal wear. Okay. So alright, he's a masochist, but that's not that's nothing we should hold against him. He's got reasonable skills. And there's nothing particularly wrong with him, so gets medicine, chat and recruit. And seeing as we're about ten minutes over. I think that's the point where we end the episode. So I hope you've had a good time watching this. If you have, please leave a like. If you haven't, please leave a dislike. If you leave a dislike, please let me know what you disliked so I know what I'm doing wrong. And until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been The Real World. Thank you, and goodbye.